Hey, Broken Justice, Mary Ann. Did you hear Allie's spooky voice? Yes. <laughs> hey, Nikki. That's okay. Thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you to my mods. Nikki, take your time. You know, kids come first. And yeah, but I appreciate you being here. Hey, Tracy. Chitty Chat, Chatty Meg. Hey, I missed you in these lives. Hey, Alexis. Woofy, hey Lala, which I don't know if Woofy or Lala is still here. Woofy is having an issue with her car. Um, so hopefully she will get to come. Hey Chihuahua. So look at my hands, you guys. I've been tie-dyeing today and I can't get this stuff off my hands. <laughs> but and I'm not even anywhere near done. I've done like half of what I planned on doing for one color. Um Oh, and if you're interested in Tada, let me find that banner so you guys can see the um, email address. Just email me there and we'll work it out. I know that I have uh, one of my viewers who had emailed me. I haven't gotten back to yet because I'm checking a price for Canada. Um, but yeah, here's the email. Rip your heart out and die. <laughs> I've been dying my little heart out today. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. The principal, Rut Row. Yeah, what exactly did she say? It's a quick chat with school principal. Oh, I hope everything's okay. <clears throat> so, what are you guys getting into? Are you ready for Halloween? Are you, and what are you doing for Halloween? I do have some creepy real life um, stories to talk about, but I want to give it just a second. I, um, I will say, so today I had. One of my viewers from TikTok, a longtime viewer, I mean, I've talked to her for months and months. She's from the UK. She's a young girl. She's 19. Um, asked me if I would do a video with her. And I said, yeah, of course. So we picked out our things and we went to go live on TikTok and she doesn't have the feature yet. So with TikTok, um, it takes time. Like you'll get, you'll be able to do a certain amount of things. And then after you build up your uh audience then you'll get more features you know and so she doesn't have the feature yet to come on my live but she did make a little video for us to watch about a real life scary story i want you guys to please be kind to her she is very precious to me she's just a little baby she's from scotland actually i said the uk but i always want to think she's from the uk marianne tada it is it's not hard to do but it's a skill so when the first time i did it i thought I like make some really awesome stuff and eh, it turned out okay. It took time for me to be able to do like the swirl pattern and different things. And there's this really interesting, um, maybe I can do it on a live. I want to do um, this technique where you put ice all over your shirt and then you pour powdered dye on top and then you allow it to melt and just kind of it looks really cool afterwards so i'm gonna try that soon so there's different techniques and you know it takes time chihuahua i heard about that is her name cleo yeah cleo um that's really sad i need to look into it i don't know anything about it besides i think she was taken from a tent right um Oh, Nikki, your son was first to receive the principal's gold award. Oh, that's awesome. Good. I'm glad it was nothing, nothing bad. Hey, Brandy, I'll, I'll help you learn. I'd love to help you learn. Just practice. And, you know, that's kind of what I did, which my niece is like really t artistically talented. And she kind of showed me a few little tricks, but broken justice i tried fingernail polish remover i tried fingernail polish remover alcohol and gasoline and none of it came and none of it would take it off um hey char oh i'm so happy you're here i had it set for 6 30 and i was like thinking that i wouldn't have time to get it here by six but once i realized i did i changed it to six for you because i know you're you know it's late over there I think it was acetone broken justice. Hey, Tara Kay. <coughs> Bleach. Holy moly. My hands are 
I've had chemical burn on them before from cleaning with bleach too much and they're scarred and dry and crinkly looking. Bleach would probably destroy my hands. Yes, ma'am. From a tent zipped all the way up too high for a four-year-old to reach. Sleeping bag missing too. Not in the area. Looking for a sedan. Mm. Meg, I wonder if Chihuahua knows if there's any updates. Hey, Jessica Lynn. I, oh, I'm so mad that they don't notify people. It freaking sucks because like, oh, I pulled my own earring out. That hurt. Um, you know, you take, it takes time to build up your audience. And then once you get like a small little audience, which I love you guys, I think that my channel, I swear, maybe I'm biased, but I have the best mods and viewers of any channel around and the best chats. But, um, once you build up your audience, then they don't notify them. It's like, Oh, YouTube, <laughs> you suck. Just kidding. YouTube 1115 there. Okay. You have a rough, I know. I do. I've been, I'm not sick anymore, but I just can't get rid of the cough. Just on a cotton swab, just a little. I'll try it with bleach. The sedan is new to me. I lost my phone for two hours. You should have seen me go. Oh, I hate that. That sucks. <laughs> just kidding. You do. Not kidding. Um, so for anybody who missed it, there is a viewer of mine on TikTok who, um, she's a young girl from Scotland and she wants to make her own videos. She's, she makes a lot of videos for kids with cancer and different things like to bring awareness, but she's never been on camera. So today we were going to do a live together. She asked me if I would, and I told her, of course, I want to, you know, I want to help her. She's a sweetheart. And, um, so it didn't work. She doesn't have the feature, but she sent me a video about a case that we were going to talk about. I want to tell you guys about before I get into the other ones, the Halloween ones, because this one, the first one isn't Halloween, but it is creepy. And use your phone to look for it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nicole T. You are so sweet. Okay, so there was a little girl named Fabiola, and she she was murdered and um her parents she was you know her parents she had her funeral and everything and then another man was murdered well the man his family put a camera up in the cemetery and they actually caught like the ghost of a little girl on that camera um and they say a lot of people say she was taking him to the light because uh she was well i'll let her tell the story um but i want to show you the picture from the security camera. So there she is on the grave. While I was talking on my phone. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, no way, Jessica. Send it to me and I'll, we can look at it. You can come on panel. Anybody is always welcome. If you guys ever want to, let me know. But so this is not a little girl standing there. That is actually what people think could be the spirit of her helping him come to the light. It was a baby baptism party. The Godfather was clear as day. Wow. So let me let me play her video for you guys. And please be kind. Um, like I said, this is the first time she has ever been on camera. And um, she's a really sweet young girl. She's from Scotland. I, I always say the UK, but from Scotland. Over with you, Char. Um, so here. Here's her little video. It's only one minute. One minute and a few seconds. This is two-year-old Fabiola Rodriguez. She passed away whilst in the care of her mother's boyfriend, whilst her mother was at work. When Fabiola was laid to rest, she was laid to rest and this man was buried near to Fabiola. The family was concerned that his grave would be vandalised, so they put up a camera and caught the shape of a little girl standing near the grave. So 
They showed it to the cemetery workers and as soon as the cemetery workers saw this little girl, they knew straight away it was Fabiola. So they took him to Fabiola's grave and said, this is a little girl that you've seen in this video. The next day, when the man's family visited his grave, they saw Fabiola's mother at her grave and showed her the video and straight away, as soon as the mother saw the video, she knew it was Fabiola, even down to the same clothing that she wore. In the video, you can see the child take the hand of a white figure before walking into the dark and vanishing. This was the last time that anything was caught on the camera. Okay, so that's really crazy. You guys look into it on your own if, um, you know, if you're interested. I also have ghost photos from a local park that use, used to be hospital. A little boy, again, clear. Wow. Um, that's so cool. I want to see those. So send them to me if you get the chance. Um, her name is Lisa, by the way. And, uh, she has a ton of different little social media accounts where she like a few different TikToks and Facebook pages and stuff. I will link that afterwards. I'll ask her which one she wants me to link. I was kind of in a hurry, but that's a crazy story. Um, let me take that off there. I've got some really creepy ones for you guys, though. Well, actually, not even creepy. They're true crime, and it's really sad. This recent missing child reminds me of Susie Yeager. 7, 1973. Kidnapped by a murderer, middle of the night. Oh, wow. Cut her tent. That's so sad. Um, hey, Leah. Haven't seen your name before. I love seeing like new people in here. It's so cool. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking where I should start. I think I'll start with a video that I actually recently posted. Oh, you guys look, you see that on the left? That's me at Halloween years ago. Um, and I look totally different. Here's a couple other from that Halloween. I got these little fangs from Spencer's that you, um, mold to your teeth right here um you like mold them to them and then overnight they harden up and then they click right in and they look so realistic um scared trenton to death trenton my oldest he was just little at the time <laughs> um so yeah that's the little picture from the thumbnail hey 86 gemini i think the video was playing when i saw your first comment Hope you're having a good day, too. Yeah, Brian's hand from the garden. <laughs> oh, thank you, 86 Gemini. I look crazy right now. A great-looking blonde. Thank you, Marianne. Um, you guys are the best. Um, so, I'm going to start with a video. I made one recently, but it was like a little YouTube short. So, um, oh, my gosh. That's funny. Yeah, it doesn't look, I don't look like, like, that now but um the youtube short probably a lot of you guys haven't seen it so we'll talk about that case first this is a trick-or-treating trick-or-treat gone wrong and um that ended horrifically and i've got three of those stories tonight about halloween that ended horrifically so this is a nine-year-old little girl named lisa french this happened in 1973 um, she went out trick or treating. She dressed up as a, like a homeless person. They called it the littlest hobo. Um, and she only made it to a couple houses. By the time she knocked on her neighbor's door, Gerald Turner, he opened the door and took little Lisa into his home, shut the door and locked it behind her. And he then restrained her sexually assaulted her and then took her life stuffing her body in a plastic bag let me see i've got more pictures so this is the area where they lived oh thank you jessica that's sweet so this is where she went missing from and here's her parents this is like a little picture from the newspaper um from when she was missing So he dumped her in a field. I had a picture of that. 
but I guess I didn't upload it. He dumped her in a field not far from there, and it took them four days to find her body and nine months for him to confess. Um, really sad, but the kicker to this, you guys. So, Mr. Turner was eligible for parole and actually was released in 1998. He got in trouble again. He was out on parole. So he wasn't released free and clear. He was out on parole. Then he gets in trouble again and has to go back to prison. Well, in 2018, he recently came up for, you know, parole again. And her mother fought hard against it. You know, her family, they tried really hard uh, for him. They didn't want him to be released. He um, actually got 38 years, which is a short sentence. I cannot believe that for what he did. I mean, your kid is out trick-or-treating. This is like your worst nightmare. You let your babies go out to trick-or-treat and some freak down the street grabs them and does this to him in 38 years. Are you kidding me? I just couldn't believe that. Well, he's out again, y'all. He's out right now. He was out. He was released. So... This Halloween, remember, there's sick freaks like this out there with your babies, you know? It's scary. Like, just the thought of that is, oh. Oh, thank you, Broken Justice. Nothing a Michelob cannot fix. You should never get the option for parole if you harm a child. I agree. I know, Shar. It's awful. So, so sad. Um. The next one that we're going to talk about is somehow even worse because this is a case of someone you trust doing this to you um, or hurting your, you know, your kids, someone your kid trust. Yeah, we'd get more time. You're exactly right. If we seek justice ourselves, he got released on parole. Um, so, no one really trick or treats though. More just dress up parties. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. I've wondered if if you know all if everyone celebrates it. Like in Canada, do they trick or treat? If any of you guys are from there. Okay, so the next one. Ronald O'Brien. <clears throat> On Halloween of 1974, so one year after night of the last story, Timothy O'Brien returned home. He lives in Houston, by the way, because um, I know a couple, I know someone in here from there. Um, from a long night of he returns home from a long night of trick or treating. I write little notes so that I know what to say. Um, we go to churches and businesses, and he's never alone. Absolutely, that's the way to do it. Did you have fun, Lala? I remember you talking about your party. Um, so after they get home from trick-or-treating, Ronald gave Timothy one last piece of candy, and it was a pixie stick. Within a few minutes, he was vomiting, and he actually passed en route to the hospital. Hey, Barb. After changing his story multiple times, police learned Dad was responsible for the boy's death as he poisoned the candy with cyanide. Dropping stuff. Ronald was in quite a bit of debt and had taken out a life insurance policy on his children. One year later, he was found guilty of the murder and he was sentenced to death by lethal injection. So he was sentenced to death, which he should have been. But, um, you know, the other guy, he's out walking free. It took the jury less than one hour to convict him. He's been called the man who killed Halloween and the candy man. Nicknamed the candy man was an American man convicted of killing his eight-year-old son on Halloween with potassium cyanide lace pixie stick that was ostensibly collected during a trick-or-treat outing. So he wanted it to seem like someone else did it. And then he could collect on the life insurance. That was the plan. Sick. 
Oh, he said, actually, it was this story. Yeah, it really is. Good thing it's a scratch under the bumper. What's that, a movie, Tara? Yep, Jessica, you're right. A pixie stick from dad, yes. A pixie stick from dad. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a movie then. So you have to send me that, somebody, or I'll look it up on YouTube. I want to see that. Just makes no sense at all. I know. Yes, a new movie out. I think it's a remake of the older one. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you, Broken Justice. Things were crazy those days, too. Just today. It's almost acceptable, if that makes sense. I think it's in the theater still. Oh, okay. <clears throat> unbelievable there's actually a lot of crimes that have taken place on halloween and not based on this oh okay thank you jessica i'll have to look it up no woofy the trailer they were watching the trailer for the candy man oh woofy and lala live close to each other cool yeah i didn't want to say it was you woofy in houston that's why i was like yeah, somebody in here is, you know, from Houston. <laughs> yeah, my mom actually um, missed one of her mammograms because of COVID. Because she has COPD, she's really, you know, she when COVID happened, she's really sick all the time. Like, as far as not sick, but coughing every day, all day, Um so she never left the house. She didn't even go to the grocery store for one year, you guys. Remember the clown situation. Was that a Halloween one? Or like the clowns that were, you know, the clowns that were like showing up all over the place a few years ago. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> it's like no punishment victim seem Victims seem to be for Yeah, you're right, Brandy. Absolutely. How you got this nickname, Wolfie? <laughs> okay. So the third one that we're going to talk about. Thank you, Char. Um, the clown thing. <laughs> Okay, so when, I don't know, yes to who, maybe Jessica Lynn about it being Gacy or me, <laughs> I think um, leveling up mountains in Saltier is talking about like a few years ago when clowns were spotted everywhere, um, like they'd be creepy clowns, like standing on the side of the road, out in the woods by your house, who knows, like everywhere. And it was like a big thing. Social media went crazy about it. Anyways, my story about my mom, the way that she found out, she missed a screening and then went back and it was there. So I'm hoping she didn't, you know, it didn't give it more time to grow than it, it would have had she had her screening every year. It started as Wolfling because I love Zelda games. Allie shortened it to Wolfie and I loved it more. Yeah. Dude, I know. When I was little, we could ride our bikes down to the store to get candy and all kinds of stuff. I don't want my kids riding their bikes, like, alone past where you can see them, like, anymore. Like, no, no way. Here in Scotland, it was real bad. My daughter was terrified that year. Oh, my gosh. Even in Scotland. Oh, Char, I seen your comment. So, Scotland is the UK? <sighs> I don't know. I'm bad with that stuff. I have no sense of direction and uh, geography is not my thing. But and I, so I thought England was the UK. So does that mean the UK is Scotland, England, Ireland, all of that? I used to ride my bike to food town. Yeah, it's just not safe anymore. Absolutely. Hi, Johnny. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. 
Oh, hi, Ezekiel. Thank you. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about quickly, and then we'll just talk for a little bit about whatever you guys want. Um, let me see. So this is really sad. Okay, let me take your your pretty little face off the screen, Char. <clears throat> So Leslie Mazzara, Adrian Insagna, and Laura Minza were handing out candy at their home on Halloween night in 2004. At 11 p.m., the three women went to bed. Little did they know there would be one more visitor. You want me to do it in my spooky voice? Little did they know there would be one more visitor. <laughs> I know that wasn't spooky. <laughs> With the headphones on that I was using to record that one video, it worked a little better. <laughs> the clowns were chasing people with knives and scaring people really bad. Oh, wow. That would be so weird, Lala. Okay, Char. Okay, so the three women went to bed, but they had, <laughs> they had one more visitor. Laura Minza woke up to a scream from the upstairs bedroom. Laura ran out of the house and drove away, leaving her two friends behind. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Um, beautiful, beautiful girls. Sad. So, Leslie Mazzara and Adrian Insagna were both stabbed to death, and they were both only 26 years old. Eric Matthew Koppel, a friend of one of the victims, which another article said it was a boyfriend of one of the girl's friends, eventually turned himself in and confessed, but he never told anyone his motive and is currently serving life without parole. Thank you, Marianne. I think Broken Justice, you may be behind a few minutes. That is so weird. Y'all are so close together. Okay. So, yeah. Two, the three girls. And I wonder. It's really curious the way you find these articles. Because you have the three friends. I don't think I showed that one yet. You have the three friends. And then, you know, the one friend hears screaming and just leaves. She's like, I'm out. I don't know what's going on. And, and bounces. And then the other two, you know, unfortunately, they were both stabbed to death. And only 26 years old. Really sad. Yeah, just left her friends. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it took me a second to get your comment. Um, thank you, Tara. And I saw another one about Akasha. Thank you. Not cool, Laura, <laughs> Jessica Lynn. I've really grown to love you, Jessica Lynn. I really have. It's, it's funny. I love all of you guys. Well, her fight or flight really kicked in. I know. And I wonder how the police felt about that. So I would be that person. <laughs> Tara, that's hilarious. I'm out. <laughs> It's really crazy. There's a lot of other ones. I found this one and I, I didn't know how long it would take us to kind of get through those, which I should have known it'd be quick. So there was another one. Um, this young kid <clears throat> who killed his whole family on Halloween night, his mom, stepdad, step siblings. Um, there's a lot of crimes that happen on Halloween night. And I saw another one. Um, which I thought about making a video about this. So this boy um, was out egging and he egged the wrong person and they shot him, shot him dead uh, over it. So make sure if your kids are out, I did that stuff when I was little, but you know, just make sure you're careful if your kids are out, tell them. You know, this stuff, you always think, and this is something Gabby Petito's mom said in that uh 
60 minutes Australia, which that was a really, really, really good video. Um, she's like, you never think it's going to be you, you know, you're all, you always think it would never happen to you and your family. And that's the way it is with any tragedy, right? Cancer, um, someone dying, car crashes, just whatever. You never think it's going to be you. You're always, I don't know. It's just hard to picture it happening to your own, but it very well could be. It was you. <clears throat> I wonder if you and Lala know each other. Lala, do you know what she's talking about? This Methodist, whatever. Hey, Amanda. Yeah. I think Jessica has a cute little voice too. She's starting a YouTube channel, which I'm not going to say anything else about it. That's for her too. Um, but I'm really excited for that to happen. Hold on, you guys. What else? Let me see. Hold on. Also, oh, I had to grab it a video from yesterday, like after it had only been up for about an hour or two. Um, oh my God, you both worked at the same place. They filmed a show based on my community. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. I didn't know. I've heard of that show. I didn't know it was based on your community. Hey, sunshine. But the UK has Scotland, England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Oh, cool. Okay. Thanks for schooling me. Um, anyways, I had to uh, private a video that I did yesterday. But I was talking about, which we could talk about that now just for a few minutes. What do you guys think about the whole situation? I know you're all following the Gabby Petito case, the Brian Laundry situation. What are your thoughts on the water bottle being found? Um, the police not taking it, you know, uh, then you hear there's fake news going around that says that the DNA doesn't match the skull, although they did not take, they have not done any DNA testing yet. Um, pretty crazy. I was just thinking today like about it and I thought if my kids, if something happened to my kids, like God almighty, I don't know how I'd feel about these kind of police like how, doing the investigation, you know? Look at Alex's chat bringing people together. Awesome. Oh, I have an interview Friday, you guys with uh, Cher, which I'm looking forward to that. She said, I can ask anything I want. And uh, Amber and Kelly, see Amber and Kelly and I have been trying to get her on for a while to talk about the Donna Wells, Summer Wells situation. Um, now time has went by, so I'll still talk about that, but I'll talk about many things. I'm looking forward to them. Yeah, no DNA testing was done. Fake news going around, and Amber has a post on her community page about it. But it's crazy because people, oh, it frustrates me because you see a lot of channels that just don't even double check just see something like that and put it out. And I love, like, I love the other creators on this platform. So I'm not bad mouthing them. It's just, it sucks because then we see it. Right. And then we're thinking that's what happened. Then we have to double and triple check that. And it just, it, it causes a lot of confusion. Jessica Lynn is starting a channel. Um, it was sloppy. They should have collected every single item. Instead, they left items behind. I agree. Get everything. And if something isn't relevant, fine. But you have it. I've got some questions. That will be good. They let their egos get in the way. Yeah. 
they do Gem 86 Gemini absolutely it's like no we're you, like that I think that's exactly you you nailed that because they why would they take evidence gathered by some random um person in the community you know no we don't need that like are you kidding when in reality then social media goes crazy and they call up and want to and want it yeah punk see i was on Cher's little chan the her smaller channel the conspiracy channel the whole situation gives me a migraine one youtuber took the fbi dustpan Wolfie, I remember now. Hey, Dave G. Yeah, the dental records, the dental records say it was him and they haven't, like there was confusion because Nancy Grace, she had, um, that's where it started, I believe. We'd have to go back and look for sure. I don't think she's created it yet, Char. Um, but when I first heard that, I'm like, oh my God. Now I'm glad to know that, you know, <laughs> that's not the case. Nancy Grace is something else. Yeah, she really is. Cher has great channels. Hey, you know what? People can say whatever they want about her. She's been really kind to me. I like her. And I'll tell you what she, what she's done, which I really love. She got a lot of attention and viewers viewers from the Summer Wells case, which is awesome. And she used that to bring attention to a local case that got no it that's not getting any attention. You know what I mean? So I think that's awesome. I've been kind of following that along the way. She's interviewed the dad of the missing girl. She's interviewing the best friend soon. I know that, you know, she's stirring things up and they're get people are getting nervous. I'm not going to say much else. I don't know much, but from what she's told me, it's going to be really good. And what if she found, what if she helped? It happens all the time. We talk about social media helping solve these cases, you know, and what if she did? So, I'm here for it. Dentals verify it's him. What'd you guys think about that interview with Ashley, uh, Ashley Banfield and the lawyer? Not many think like us. That's true, Jessica. You guys do have a similar line of thinking. It's funny. Don't be scared, Lala. Just do it. Look here. You're going to sit around. Now, for real, listen to me. You're going to sit around and think about how you want to do that. You're just nervous and you don't want to. It's hard to take that final step. And you could sit there at that place. And Jessica Lynn, I hope you're listening. You can sit there at that place for six months, a year, two years, three years, four years. I sat there for a few years. Take the leap. Just do it. It'll get easier and easier over time. I promise. Dave G is an, a wonderful mod for a lot of channels. He, and him and Archimedes Girl both do a really great job. Awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait. I can't wait. I like I'll spend the next couple of days really preparing, getting questions together. So if anybody has any. Like if you're a big fan of share, that's one of the things I love about these creator interviews is we'll gather, you know, we'll talk about cases. We'll talk about the controversial stuff. We'll talk about whatever, but a lot of it is kind of getting to know that person on a deeper level. And then their fans, the people that love watching them, you know, they get to know them in a way they didn't know before. And over time, the interviews will be there. Well, who knows? I mean, if Cher goes off and bl her channel blows up or, you know, I interviewed Melissa Jade. Let's say that she ends up being on the national news or something. Um, then people who become fans will go back to YouTube and they'll find those interviews. And, you know, it'll be like, I kind of think of it like those old magazines, like the, um, like Tiger Beat when they interview your favorite pop star or whatever, you know? 
Banfield is a bomb. <laughs> that lawyer talked so much and said nothing. I think Ashley is great, but so is he. I think Ashley thinks that she's entitled to info, but she's not. The lawyer's I'm going to be nice in your chat. <laughs> the lawyer's something else, too. That lawyer was mad. Yeah, he was feisty. I won't be back on Monday. You know what, you guys? I saw, though, she, um, Ashley Banfield did an Instagram Live about the interview. And she was like, you know, people are apologizing to me for, like, basically, she said, I don't know how it comes up, but basically people are telling her like, I'm sorry that happened to you. And she's like, what? I loved it. That was fun. Like I love going back and forth with these lawyers. That's what I want to do. And she said she believes him, which I found that really interesting. What's that woofy? <laughs> it is weird. He's a real estate lawyer. Rule one, don't trust anyone. Be yourself and stay true to you. A lot of people look up to you too. Yes. I agree with Dave. I think they are, Lala. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> yes. Tiger Beat. Um, what was the other ones? We have Tiger Beat. We have Teen something. Oh my gosh, what's the other ones? I used to get like, oh, J14. Um, mask you, 6 1. What? Patricia? Girl, are you confused? <laughs> Wasn't it Ashley that did something so great with the lawyer and set him up for failure? At least I'm hoping. So, yes, she asked. So, are you talking about the, the privilege? attorney client privilege if there's someone else if you bring in a third party then that privilege is gone but it doesn't mean he's going to open his mouth he don't have to and he's not going to i honestly i know a lot of people uh, don't like him and y'all please just respectfully disagree with me because i love y'all i don't want to fight <laughs> but I don't think he's doing that bad of a job. I think he's told his, his people to be quiet, which I disagree with. I wish they would have talked to the family, at least been supportive, put out more supportive statements, not been so cold. But have they done anything illegal? No, they weren't there when Brian did that to Cabby, and we don't know what Brian told him. And if you think back to the Moab body cam incident, Brian was not going to admit that he did anything. He was ready for her to take all the blame and allowed that. And if you've seen his face when they come and told him um, that she was the aggressor, he was shocked, but it, it was almost like he was delighted. Um, he, I don't see him going home and telling his parents everything. If he told them anything, he made himself look like the good guy. Guys like that don't admit to all their mistakes and everything. I mean, you guys know. So I feel bad for the parents. I feel bad for him. I don't like protesters there when they just found out he passed away. I think that's wrong. Um, I have nothing against the protesters, you know, but I think that like give them, give them chance to grieve, you know, you know how hard this has been for them. It's been rough for them too. They've had people standing outside screaming every day. They don't know if their son's dead or alive. They're the girl that used to live within their home, you know, has been murdered horrifically i bet you they're going through it and i think when people are really going through it like that we shouldn't push more we should help we should try to be supportive and kind you know if you're kind and you can like level with somebody even if you disagree but you can look at each other and you know realize that the disagreements are not the only thing that matters and you can focus on what you agree on and try to life would be so much easier. You can actually make change. You don't make change with hate. You don't make change with hostility most times. Um, and I understand it because in the beginning I was like, yes, go protesters. Some of them, you know, they were a little bit, uh, you know, dramatic, but I still was with it, but I've had a, a bit of a change of heart. 
Don't be scared, Lala. Sorry I went on and on, y'all. Patricia, honey, you're going to have to quit writing the crazy stuff in here, okay? XXX and the SZX1, whatever that is. He's a real estate lawyer with bad criminal advice. Marianne. <laughs> See, we can disagree and it's okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's had good or bad advice. I just think that all the hate and everything is not helping. I want to know about that, Jessica. I know that she, like her show ended right after that one episode about the Watts, but that's okay, Wolfie. But I wanted him to say more. Me too, 86 Gemini. And I hope that they will. Teen beat, teen bop. <laughs> yes. Lala, you can come up on my panel. Okay, I'm like so, so behind y'all. I hate that. I really want to read all your messages, though. I thought he was an excellent lawyer personally. If the world hates him, he's doing something right. Oh, thank you guys. That's cool. We agree more. I thought you guys might be mad at me for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> not making yes Marianne I wish that he would have you know gave them the advice to show a little compassion her family didn't know where she was at either and they were terrified and they were scared and look where she was they had every reason to be I think that too Woofie but I also don't know how much they know I don't believe he would tell them everything. I really don't. I wish I could find those messages that went around that were supposedly from Roberta. I didn't even pay it much mind at the time because I didn't know if it was true. But now looking back, what they said were, were you know, it said like he, she was really, they were going through a lot. It was really hard with the people outside. They were worried about their son, that he was traumatized they thought he had been traumatized but whatever happened out there he was crying not talking things like that we look at the picture when he's with his family camping and he doesn't look bad but if you look closely he kind of looks swollen under the eyes they don't owe anything to the protesters yeah and protesters saying we're not leaving until fbi clears you what what is this about? Is this about justice or what? Or is it about, I mean, what is it about? What is the reason that you're there protesting? I want to know. I know some of them are there for the right reasons. I'm sure some of them aren't. I agree, Jessica, and he won't tell anyone. Thank you, Dave G. My name and avatar after that panel. Broken Justice, what's the deal with your little Halloween thing? I just wish they would have at least voiced me too, Jennifer. Because they looked and like it even ticked me off at the time. That's why I say change of heart because I was not feeling sympathy for them at all. And now I am. However, I have not changed my opinion that they should have they should have been compassionate towards her family. I mean, her dad says in this, like, I think it was the Australian interview <clears throat> that he says, if Gabby would have showed up, up at my house without him in his vehicle, I would have called his family, you know? And I think about that with me. I think I would have too, especially if my, my child's all distraught and whatever. Um, and even if I wouldn't, then once they found her, I would have. I would have been there, would have been supportive, compassionate, showing my, you know. It's like they were like, we don't care about Gabby being missing or Gabby being found or any of that. We just want to, we'll cooperate with the search for Brian. Well, I agree to disagree with respect. That's okay, Punksy. You guys are so welcome to your opinions. I love it. Like, I tell my viewers all the time, I know you're, you're new here. Um, 
I don't want us to all agree. If we do, we're not going to learn from each other. We're not going to really critically think. We're not going to expand our minds and our hearts the way that I want to do here. So I like that. Any opinion is welcome. Now, I disagree with you and Wolfie Jessica about NK, okay? I think that she was involved. Um, but the parents, they had to suspect it, right? She's missing. Her family's calling. He shows up in the car. I want to know what, when they decide to get the lawyer. They knew enough to lawyer up, though. Yep, exactly. Because when they showed up on September 11th, her mom reported her missing on the 11th. They went to his house. They had a lawyer already. But we do know that the day before that, for those two days, there were actually five 911 calls from the laundry residence. Was there a mental breakdown happening? What was happening? Yeah, 86. I agree completely. Hey, Annie. Entitlement. I like you and think you're a sweet lady. I don't agree with your friends. That's not against you. Thank you, Natasha. I don't know which friends you're talking about, but <laughs> thank you. Protesters, it's time to go home. Broken Justice, why don't you tell us about your Halloween thing before we go? Theatrics and drama for some. Yep, I agree. So far behind. Are there still protesters at the laundries? I'm not sure, Char. I tried to look. Let me look real quick. I tried to look yesterday. And I did show. So the protesters were demanding that they hear from the FBI. Like I said, they wanted the Josh Taylor fired. He's the public information officer. They wanted him fired. And that was the email I shared yesterday was between him and one of the protesters. So they're still at it. I'm not sure if they're at the house. I'm going to look before we get off here. Okay, Cheryl. Yep, Jessica Lynn, I'm with you. Laundry should have made one statement with the lawyer. That's all. Yeah, I think that you're right. I think that you're right too, Marianne. Hey, Vicky. Hey, girl. Yeah, your party, um, Cheryl. Just sassy ass. Don't follow anybody. <laughs> I do too, Punksy. I do too. Thank you, Dave G. I can see your points, but raise your mind. Go for it, Woofy. Tell me. Jesus, Lord, I got back behind again. I'd say they probably did reach out for legal advice, but what did they tell him? Because if, if the police hadn't been there yet, you know, by the time they went there the first time, what did they say? Brian showed up without Gabby. I mean, they had to have known that Gabby wasn't out there waiting on him or something, or they wouldn't have got a lawyer. That's the one thing I really, I would love to get more information on. Are we ever going to find out? No. And you know what? We're probably not going to find out the truth about much because it seems like every single person on that side has dropped the ball. They have. That police department, I mean, they're just, you know, as far as mistaking Brian for Roberta, letting Brian get up out of their sight altogether anyways. Not taking the water bottle. It's like, So, Marianne, there was five 911 calls on the 10th and 11th or the 9th and the 10th. I have it on uh, my community page. So, let me grab that, too, before we go. Nicole Kessinger was happy that everyone was looking for Brian. <laughs> yes, Nicole Kessinger. Well, now it's back to Nicole Kessinger. <laughs> okay, Natasha, that's okay. Yep. 
I appreciate you not mentioning them, like, you know, not mentioning the any anyone that I'm friends with, if you did, or anybody, even if I'm not friends with them. Well, I don't want to talk bad about anybody in here. So I appreciate that. I found the Mustang owned by Brian's mom and not Brian. Interesting. Dave G has all the information, let me tell you, for real. He gets a lot of information very quickly. Hey, yeah, be nice to each other, please. I think Jessica was being kind to you, saying that she understands because she does, you know, she has people that she doesn't like or agree with. Let's just be kind to each other, okay? Please. Marianne, I don't know, but a lot of you guys are the same in here all the time, and I feel like I know you. Like, I know you at this point. Um, okay. No, I don't mind to look for it real quick. I want to look for the protesters. I just wanted to get through the, um, you know, the chat. The police chief, a county over, said if Brian had been in his jurisdiction, he would have brought him in for questioning the instant he came home with her van and not Gabby. Yeah, you would think so. I mean, but like I said, their first interaction, they already had the lawyer. That's the curious part of it. Rest in peace, Gabby, and everyone else taken away because of this stupid world. Absolutely. Mm. If you don't like someone in my chat, please be kind to each other. Jessica Lind is a friend of the channel, and you you are too. You know, I, I appreciate all of you guys. I just know that she is a, a really good person, and she, I don't think, I think she was trying to be kind to you because she also doesn't like, you know, people in, on YouTube, and that's all. Please, you guys, we can not argue, and yeah, just please. Yes, the, oh, the guy, I know who you're talking about. Um, oh, I know who you're talking about. It's that sheriff that he had that quadruple murder in his, um, in his town. Okay, let me look real quick at this. That's okay. I don't tolerate people being rude to you either, Natasha Richardson. I'm just saying that I don't think she, I think that it's hard to read text through the chat, but Jessica was trying to be kind and you know what I mean? If this video will be about me, know that. What are you talking about? What video? Yeah, we are moving on from that. Now my brain is just completely, okay, Jonathan Lee Riches, let's see. 22 minutes ago, he talks about the freedom of information, like filing a request, which I filed a request, you guys. Um, text are easily misunderstood. I filed a request and I know that Amber and Kelly did too. So I'll be interested to see what comes of that. I'll definitely let you guys know as soon as I hear anything. Um, they should give anything and everything pertaining to Brian Laundry, but <clears throat> I don't know.
Okay. Then he says, this is what the protester tweeted. Because remember, Bertolino came out that Tuesday night and said Christopher and Roberta were being quote unquote tortured in their home. Next morning, Christopher and Roberta went directly to Brian's belongings right by Brian's remains. Yenny, I know, in the mountains or whatever. <sighs> Wait, what did Tara say? La la for panel. La la, anytime. For real, if you want to um, help break the ice a little bit for your own channel. The protest, yes. Moving on. We got to get along here, y'all, for real. Um, the protesters feel empowered doing what they're doing, but in reality, it's just cruel. There's time and place. Yeah, I agree. Um. <clears throat> Then he, th he tweets that they may... Oh, my God, you guys. Okay. This phone's broken. This is what the protester tweeted. Arrest Christopher and Roberta Landre. <laughs> Says, this is crucial. Chris Landre took a 90-degree turn from La La Live Long Trail into Dens, Brushes, and Briars. And walk 75 feet directly to Brian's dry pack without stopping. Okay, we're going to watch this little video. Place and did a beeline straight back. Now, as you... A few dips in, and he made a few dips out. And then he came to a very specific place and did a beeline straight back. Now, as you, for the normal person, let me just take this back. This does not look like a trail. To the normal person, this does not look like the trail that, uh, that you would just go cut through. You would go up here, like I said, the way we came and cut through on the path. Uh, he was looking for something and saw it. Um, you cannot see the water bag from um, this area. But when he did locate the specific place he wanted to go in this is the path he took off the beaten path. a few dips in and he made a few dips out and then he came to a very specific place and did a beeline straight back now hey tca person i'm curious too let me go to her page she is um Shoot. Ah, oh my gosh, you guys. Agree with Jessica again. <laughs> I noticed Christopher Laundry's pants were wet about shin level. I know, I saw that. And you know when he comes out, he's crying. He, um... I'm going to find her, her Twitter before we go because we I want us to watch this. Uh, but anyways, when the dad comes out, he's crying. He's like standing there with his back turned and you see the FBI guy tap his shoulder, like touch his shoulder and you see Roberta wipe his face and I believe he was crying. So, I don't know, but can you imagine finding your your children's remains? I mean, I don't know. I thought she just wiped dirt off, no tear. Dirt off of his face? And the cop was like patting him on the shoulder at the same time? Hey, Allison, that's okay. Yeah, have a great time. 
Mm, y'all, I'm sorry, my my that's this my heart's racing <laughs> over the situation. I Yeah. Come on, dude. I want to find her little TikTok. This would, oh my God, this is nine hours ago. So I think they are there. Oh. When Daddy was missing, how many other times you go camping? Between the first and the 17th when you reported Brian missing. How did you know to pick up the Mustang? How did you know to pick up the Mustang? How did you know to pick up the Mustang at the park, Roger family? How did you know? We were in No, Char. That came across this screen, but no, you didn't. You guys are doing a great job, and I appreciate the help. You did great, honestly. And and I'm sorry. Don't message me, you guys, unless you know, because it will get on the where we're watching on the phone. I believe they greet it, too. Hey, Cheryl. 241. Sherry. So they're out there right now. so sorry sure that that came across my phone he says our work is far from over this is the blueprint for the next tragedy we planted seeds this is the model moving forward perpetrators of domestic violence and their enabling fam enabling families are on are on notice protesters will come to your home Laundry's inside their home looking at oh. Jeez. I'm actually really shocked that they're they're still there today. I mean pfft. Yeah, they came home. Um they came home yesterday. This was out where he was found. No, it's okay, Shar. You did it. You're doing great. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys for spending your time helping me and being here for me. All of you, even watching. That's okay, Nikki. Take care of you guys. You're gonna collect the bones. Yes, okay. Oh, that's when the bottle happened. So, give me just one second. I don't know if you're still going to be able to hear me, but I have to do this this way because my daggone phone is not, yeah. Okay, Andrew Griffin. Okay. Could y'all hear me while I did that? Oh, I, yeah, Sherry, thank you. You guys are awesome. Their ground sound, does sound dry and crunchy. So it's Andrew Griffin is the lady's name that's with Jonathan Lee Riches. So you guys can check on your own too on Twitter under those names. Andra Griffin. Okay. She says victims rights advocate Activists seeking justice for Gabby Petito. I work off donations. So to sponsor slash donate, please use Venmo at Andrew Griffin 2.
they did a bunch she did a bunch of debunking theories and out Griffin, at the, here, Manatee County we have debunked several theories out here one was the distance uh Josh uh Taylor with Northport City Police has said that this is three or four miles in 45 minutes that is untrue it was a, it was just a little under 12 minutes to get back here from the Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park my favorite color is red um the real Andra active on TikTok. Um, did you answer it, Woofy? That's okay. You know my favorite color. One thing, if his remains were underwater, how come they didn't float away? I've wondered that too, but Jessica, like Jessica says, it's more of a puddle. I don't think there's any current. Mine is turquoise. Oh, cool. Oh, yes, Cheryl. See? Oh, Lala, don't. Don't be like that. Come. Hang out with us. You also don't really have to be on camera. You could come up on panel and change your icon to some Halloween thing and just join the conversation and the fun. Okay, I don't want to sit here. I know this is like, wow, she's got 50,000 followers. That's a lot. No, wait, am I on the wrong one? <laughs> ice, ice baby. Ooh. Okay. I didn't realize I was looking into someone a little controversial. I think I'm going to leave that there for now. Um, I think we're done for the conversation. Thank you guys for joining me. Is there anything else you want to ask or know about before I go? Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Stop and collaborate and listen. <laughs> I is back with my brand new invention. Something <laughs> grabs a hold of me tightly. <clears throat> that was one of my favorite songs when I was a kid. <laughs> Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn out the lights and I'll glow. <laughs> Turn out the lights. Hey, this light is really cool, y'all. Let me show y'all real quick. If you do YouTube, thank you, Punksy. I'll see you Friday. Thank you. If you do YouTube, you can get this light at Walmart for like $30. And it's so cool because, see, you can change, like, the color. Oh, Yanny, I'm so glad. Thank you, Johnny. When's our rap panel? I know we need to plan that out, but we have to have like a few of us because we're going to battle. <laughs> I'm serious. I think it'd be so fun. I really do want to do it. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn out the lights <laughs> and I'll glow. Something, something, light up the, st I don't know the words anymore. Actually, I don't know if I ever knew all the words. I think part of it, I would just like, <laughs> like say the sound that I hear, but. <laughs> all right, 86 Gemini, thank you. Oh, I bet that was so cute, Jessica. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to leave it on to say goodbye. Word to your mother. <laughs> Vicky, you are funny. You always make me laugh. We'll leave it there for now. It's kind of reddish, orangish. Um, yay, Shar. Thank you for sharing that. Um, what's your song, Woofy? Okay, so before I go. Don't forget, we talked about, if you missed it and you came in late, we talked about some real true crime cases on Halloween. Then we had, you know, a little bit of chaos. And then we had a little bit of a Gabby discussion. Don't see my hair can blow. <laughs> okay, Emily. I hate that you were late. Hopefully, we can all make it to the same one soon. But don't forget, if you guys are interested in my tie-dye, it's my tie-dyed hands. Um, 
the email, just email me and we will, depending on where you're at in the world, we have to, you know, determine the shipping costs, but we will get it all situated. Let me find the little banner. You can email me at rip your heart out and tie dye or rip your heart out and die. Sorry, spelled D Y E like tie dye. And yeah, I have a bunch I've already made and I'm going to make some more and I cannot wait. And I appreciate you all for hanging out with me and doing this. Don't forget Friday, I'm interviewing Cher. If you have any questions that you want me to ask, she said anything goes. So um, if you have anything, respectfully put it in the chat. And let me tell you, if you, I know we don't all have to like everybody, but we do all have to be kind in my chat and I will never have a guest on here and allow them to be mistreated and stuff. I appreciate any guests I have, even, you know, so I've had guests on that were suspects in a crime and, um, you know, just controversial people that's going to happen, but we still have to be kind to be good to each other. Today was a lot of freaking fun. I love you guys so much. So, so much. You like everybody in here, Woofie. Well, most of us in here, I think. I don't know of anybody you don't like that's in here. Um, it's like we're like a little family at this point. And he's a bomb.com. The bomb diggity. <laughs> I'll behave. Deal. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. But you know what? I know that you would. Because you're my friend. And I think that you would be uh, respectful no matter what. You know, because when if you guys care about me at all you know that's just i don't know that's just what i think you wouldn't want to be unkind amanda me and you need to do a video like a west virginia video of there's a couple cases oh as a matter of fact there's a little girl who's missing from west virginia i did a TikTok about it a long time ago she was taken at uh well i don't know if she was taken or not but she went missing at a couple months old and the family, um, well, it, okay, so she was born to a mom who was on drugs. The mom's boyfriend signs a birth certificate, and now he's dad, right? So mom can't have the baby. CPS lets this man take the baby home. Within two months, she's nowhere to be found. He claims that CPS took her. CPS has no record of taking her. So there's a few cases around there that I really, um, I want to look into. And Amanda, you and I could do that together because we're both from West Virginia. That'd be awesome. <laughs> she can't stop. Okay. I really do got to go, but I appreciate you all for being here. I really do. I love you guys. I hope you have the best night and I'll see you Friday. Okay. Bye. Oh, Amanda Lee Huntington message me, Amanda. Um, Message me on Facebook at Allie Erickson. All right, guys. I love you. Hope you have the best.